Hey everyone, Girly Geek here, and so today I'm going to be doing a Sims 4 current household. Actually, a follow-up on one that I did way back, I don't know when it was, but it was around when Get to Work came out, and it was a Get to Work household, and now it's the same household, and I've been playing with them a lot, and I played them pretty much until they were all elders. Not pretty much, until they literally were all elders, and it's a lot to explain. So let's just go in the game. And this is probably one of my favorite households ever to play. Um, I haven't played Sims 4 at all this long until this household. I got the play Sims 4 for 24 hours achievement and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm pretty surprised. Uh -huh. It's a pretty big household, and I played them for about like five days straight <laughs> not literally five days straight I slept and then I woke up and I played sims all day so everyone's asleep so I guess I'll explain them first by one of my favorite sims Betty here Betty is our artist and she was a business career and she made it up until the I think it was the sixth or seventh level of that career and then I made her quit because uh, she was an elder and I was like, well, you should just retire. And she paints. She is almost done with the painter extraordinaire, which, let me get this up here. The reward is expressionist and that's the treat reward and she's almost done with it. She just needs to paint one more masterpiece, which I don't know if this is one's going to be, but if it is, then yay. These are all the masterpieces she's painted. So this one, this one. And she's painted a lot more, but I've either sold them because we needed money or something. And yeah, her traits are ambitious, creative, muser, perfectionist. She has lived for um 127 days and she's very hungry so uh, let me just explain you all there everyone before I go into their relationships so here we have I forgot her name I'm pretty sure it's Katie <laughs> yeah Katie Katie Porter right here um I think I she made like a painting of her yeah this is her when she was younger, when she was a young adult, and she is like the cooking extraordinaire. She, yeah, she was that from the beginning, I'm pretty sure, and so she is almost done with it like everybody else is. She just need to reach level 8 of culinary career, and since she has gone to level 8 to master and get the trait, I am leaving her in it, regardless that she's a uh, elder. And so she's a line cook, level 5. And she has mastered the cooking skill. And her traits are ambitious, outgoing, essence of flavor. Wait, did she always have that? And no, she got it from choosing a food version, yeah. Uh, never weary. I got that from the store because she had so many life reward points she, she had the most out of everyone like 5,000 or something it was insane so I got her that and then yeah that's that okay next here is Rosa and she's awake but this is Rosa when she was a young adult when she was younger there she is again and so originally she was a doctor and that's the kind of thing I wanted to explore with the get to work but I really did not like the get to work careers because if you didn't go in every single day you pretty much didn't get a promotion and it was exhausting and I didn't really like I didn't really like the active careers in any of the Sims 3 games. Really, I just didn't like any of them. So <laughs> I'm not surprised I didn't like any of these because it's just a lot of relentless repeated tasks tasks and I kind of hate that so in the beginning she was a knowledge aspiration but then when she quit I made her be a writer and 
I didn't actually change her aspiration to like she was an adult or like heading into her elders. So, um, she's only one out of four right now. Even though she's written a ton of books, she's written like 10 or 15 books. I only got her to this aspiration like a few, a little bit ago. So, yeah. But what I'm excited about this is the reward trait is you can capture life itself in a book and wield it to bring back someone they've lost. Now, I don't sure if that actually means that I can bring someone to life, but I'm really excited because that means I can bring back one, oh, not Wendy, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Um, when she dies, and she's definitely one of my favorite sims in this whole household, so I'm very excited for that. So, she doesn't have a career, and before she was a doctor, I told you that. Her skills, uh, her only highest skill is, well, writing. She's completed a writing skill. And handiness, because I don't hire a repairman, I just make her fix a ton of stuff. So, because she didn't have a job, so. Yeah. And her since she's not like creative like the rest of them because that wasn't what I was planning for her but she's a quick learner from the knowledge aspiration that she was that I originally chose perfectionist genius and outgoing and she has lived 127 days like the rest of them so now I'm gonna go ahead and explain before I explain her family I'm gonna go ahead and explain um if I can click on her, Elizabeth Grant, aka Lana Del Rey. I created her uh, as the creative sim for my two year anniversary of my channel, and I put her in this household, and when I was gonna play this household, I realized I had put her in it, and I was like, why not? And so I made her redhead as, well, she should be a blonde, because Lana Del Rey was a blonde during her Elizabeth Grant days, but she looked better, the sim in particular looked better as a redhead, so that's what I made her. And she is a serious musician, so she's level 6, and she's going into the musician side of it instead of the comedian. And, yeah, so her skills, her high skill is guitar, second highest is piano, and then just kind of goes down. Her skills are romantic, creative muser and self-assured and yeah now let's go into relationships i guess first <laughs> so her highest friend is katie don't know why and then she's not from just like literally anybody else she has a boyfriend mikhail so now rosa has the most interesting life here so rosa here that's up she has a child. Her child's Wendy. Right here. Oh, I forgot to go over Wendy. I don't think I need to. She's just a kid. So yeah, her career. I chose active because I wanted an athletic sim to play around with. So I was like, sure, I'll do that. And so I did. Um, Riley here is her husband. And he has all these skills. I haven't really worked with him anything. I just married him because, like, all my sims are getting to, like, elders. And I'm like, I've literally done nothing with their lives except make them go to work. And so I need something to carry on the legacy. So I was like, okay, Rosa, you're going to have a child now. And so she did. But he is level 8, even though he has none of these skills. And I'm probably not going to work with this sim at all i'm not planning on it at least they have quite a bit of money because we do have a shop and i'll actually show you that now with rosa now that i've shown you the other sims if you can look at relationships if you want but betty is good friends with rosa and then yeah that's all the relationships really and then wendy is good friends with her mom and Betty. Well, not really, Betty. Okay. Anyways. Let's go to our shop. We have two shops. One that I made just, like, right off the bat. But I never really used. And then another one. So, let's go ahead and travel. It's just her. Yeah, she's not going to sleep. Okay. 
And yeah, I really love this household, you guys. It's super interesting, considering that I haven't played Sims 4 at all. I still have to get Sims 3 get together, but I don't know if I'm going to. I feel like it's kind of like Sims 3 University with like the groups and stuff, and that was really irritating to me. Like that you would hang out with like a person and then you're suddenly like a jock or something. It's or like you play some computer games and then you're a nerd, and then like they always send you messages. It's super annoying for me. That that is the thing. Anyways, we have our shop in Malian. Lula can't say even pronounce that. Magnolia. Pomeray? I forgot what it was already. Anyways, it's called Culture Art. At first it was Culture Cooks because it was a bakery, but we literally sold nothing making it a bakery for Katie. So, um, then we just started to sell Betty's art because her art is worth a lot of money and we need a lot of money so I can make the second story part of our house, which is built by moi. So, yeah. And art sells really fast in this game, so if you're looking for a real toy store and you're looking for something to buy that's nice and good, seriously, art, like, this, we've, I sold, like, three rounds of stuff on the walls, and there's still a ton more, but this is just some of our stuff, these are two things that didn't sell, but this is a shop, pretty much. I did a thing in the back here, because you do have to have one active sim here and I don't have any employees because the employees annoy me so yeah so instead I have here because there needs to be an active sim on the property so you can open the shop and so I just made a bed here in case you need to sleep this so they can finish their daily tasks like if Betty is running the shop all right normally I have two people someone can like help the customers and one can like help their needs and they can switch out but, like, if Betty needed to fill out her reports or something for her job, you know, when she was a young adult or an adult, then she could have done that here. Also, if they get, like, stressed or something. And then, bathroom, shower, food. Even though I realized that I didn't need that because there is a bathroom, like, right next door. But I didn't see that before. Anyways, the shop isn't, like, the most architectural beauty of the world because I made it. Um, but it's okay. And we have something here. What even is it? I'm confused. I don't even know what this is. Um. Now I'm curious. I'm sorry. It's a sales award. I think, um, Betty won that. But, yeah, let's go back home. So, we can go ahead and see the house that I made a few adjustments to. The house that we have right now is the biggest starter house in the neighborhood we're in. I don't know the name, you guys. It's the one <laughs> that we're in. So, pretty much, I don't have much else to say. Uh, it is New Year's Eve. So I'm going to do a New Year's video like I do every year. I straighten my hair. I'm going to put on eyeliner. I'm going to be all fancy. Even though it's getting dark. And if I want to film this without like two lamps. <laughs> I should probably get started on it soon. But yeah, these are all the paintings that she's painted. Like reference paintings that Betty painted. I just think they're cute. And it's also kind of cool to see after a while um oh yeah here's Katie making drinks so pretty much this house originally didn't have this table this was the second room and then I had a lot of stuff rearranged differently I have another current house on this so if you want to see like how it was originally you can go see that but this is like the entertainment room plus the kitchen the child I can't talk plus the child's bedroom uh, I didn't have anywhere else to put it you guys I will make something probably upstairs or just take some of this stuff and put it somewhere else and make this her actual room I have some cute paintings here and chess and computer and a bed and a carpet so that's pretty good um yeah and then I put these stairs here and the bar under there 
And then here's the upstairs that I built. The rooms are really simple because I just don't know what else to do. So it is very simple. The crib that Wendy lived in to begin with. Uh, this is Rose's room. This is Katie's room. This is Elizabeth's room. And then this is a grand piano. So pretty much this house is nothing fancy. But here's how it looks once I kind of upgraded it now that it's a two-story house. I think I did a pretty good job with the windows. Personally, it kind of looks weird, but I think I did a good job. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Gilly Geek, and people are setting off fireworks. <laughs> um, bye.